Hi, my name's Andy. I'm Dennis. I'm Jamie. Come, Dennis. Ooh, I started boxing way back when I was 19, um, 1987. Uh, boxed for 10 years, had 10 years out, and then I came back seven years ago. I started with the club just before uh, 79 and took over from a fellow called Len Russell who became ill in the end so I took it over completely and I trained Andy and I trained Jamie they got at the various levels and uh, it's been quite good otherwise so it's 37 years this year I started just to get fit for BMX racing um, and then yeah, progressed along into training, boxing and now coaching. Oh dear, back in the 50s wasn't yeah, it? Nine, I think it goes far back, it was 1951. Yeah, 50, back 51. So it's been going all that time at various venues and we're lucky enough to end up here with the uh, blessing of the local council. So we've been quite okay about that. So for me, it's to see the kids that come through the door that are not so confident and seeing them develop as a person and as a sportsman and uh, changing just in character, uh, becoming a strong, confident character, not just in the boxing club but outside in the public and also doing well at school. We like to um, bring them along and we're, we're pretty strict with them. We like discipline and coordination with everything we do. Uh, we don't stand any messing about. We get kids that come in that are a bit unruly, but uh, they get, begin to learn to settle down and uh, have it our way. So that's, that's one of the things I like about it. They get them all walks of life, all, all religions. Some stay, others pick it up. But that's how it goes on all the time with the boxing. Um, I'd yeah, just the same again, really, just taking someone that's perhaps not so sporty. We just fancy is just giving it a go and then yeah, turn them to a boxer and yeah, you never know, we might get a world champion in the end. Right. I think that's the dream for all of us. We don't only take boxers, uh, we do uh, Monday nights, mostly of training and circuit training, which a lot of them seem to enjoy, but uh, we know that most of them are never going to box, but I enjoy coming up here. First of all, you need, you need to have the desire, then you've got to dedicate yourself, then you need the discipline. That's, that's a 100% that's a yeah, yeah. must, yeah. but uh, it's a hard sport, it hurts, it's not like playing uh, table tennis, and you, you've got to want it. It yeah. takes a few few good sessions to find out before, yeah, that's it? Yeah. you know, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people that want to be a boxer until they get you on the nose, and then, then it's soon <laughs> changing people's sort of thoughts. It, it soon sorts them out, doesn't yeah. it? It soon sorts the boys out who really want to do it. Yeah. And you've got to keep doing it. Yeah. You can never, because on the amateur side of it, it, you don't get eight weeks to train for a fight like they do professionals. You, you box every week if you can. Uh, Ashford Boxing Club has had a very good reputation over the years, but with the way sports moving, there's more opportunities for the coaches and the, especially the youngsters coming into the game now. The Olympics of 2012 was a great thing, 
but we need to see more for grassroots, more funding for it, because there's a lot of potential for local lads, and it would, receive, it would be great for them to make the grade, first of all, through the local clubs. And the, um, for Ashford, I'd like to put Ashford on the map even bigger. You know, Dennis has done a fantastic job all these years, and, uh, to the, and if it wasn't for the likes of Dennis, the likes of me and Jamie wouldn't be here now. And it would be just nice to take it up. A peg or two, even more. Yeah, I'd like to get our own premises. That's yeah. all. That's all. Our own premises, but you know, so the Ashford, Ashford Boxing Club is yeah. on the map, on the map, yeah. in a yeah. bigger scale. Yeah. And what they don't realise, these two, they were pressed in to become coaches. Who by? Yeah, Mr. Jarvis. Yeah, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as you know, there's a lot of social media this day. Um, you can find Ashford Boxing Club on Facebook, Twitter, and our own website, and all the information's there, times, dates, uh, fees, uh, training sessions. So that's a, an easy way to start. As I said, social media is a big thing this day and age, so they can find it every, everything and anything they like. A lot of kids come up through word of mouth. Their mates start training and then come up. Um, yeah, she's either one of them, probably. Don't think they're ever going to be a boxer that's quite good. So. Mm. A lot of boys that come up, it seems that I've trained them their fathers years ago, <laughs> and now they come up on the idea of you know wanting a box again. So it, it goes around pretty well. Well. Jamie has just done the uh, 50 rounds yeah, for charity um, in aid of Click Sergeant. Yeah, mm. but we, we have done various other. Well, we've done the, obviously 50 rounds that I did. Um, we've done like local sports community work. We've done you know, the different sort of pilot projects. Yeah, we've been to a few open shows, haven't we? Yeah, Doing yeah. Um, setting up little sessions for kids to come council. through. You know, we've been in a couple of schools, we've done a couple of bits with the social <laughs> services, haven't we? And never got paid. Yeah. <laughs> it's all for love. <laughs> Go. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about your charity fundraiser as well, what it was for, how much you raised, what you did? Um, it was for Click Sergeant, which is a, a cancer charity for uh, mainly towards children and their families, so to support them through all the cancer, um, obviously counselling, um, medical background, yeah. Um, and yeah, I raised over £2,000, so uh, it was a great event, supported by all the club, um, all the members, families, families, families everyone, yeah, yeah, so it was a great event, good and um, yeah, it was a good day. As a fellow uh, coach and former boxer, I take me out off to Jamie because to do 50 rounds at our age, I know it's yeah. half of Dennis's age, but it's, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know, but, uh, but it, it, it just goes to show that the design and the dedication that we got as coaches, that if we can put the effort in, then it has, even in the charity, it puts a knock-on effect for everybody else. It's a good field buzz. Yeah, definitely. I think the boys got out of it as well. Yeah. But it created a good community service, didn't it? You know, a lot yeah. of people turned up. But that was good. Um, come down, visit us. We're here, we're approachable. The door's always open. And uh, just give it a go. Yeah, give it a, give it a go. Try. Yeah, that's right. Give it a go. That's all we can say.